Sale travel to the wreck, having lost their last three games, but fancied their chances against a Bath team with only a 50% winning home record. Sale director of rugby Steve Diamond demanded a response from his team, but certainly didn't get it in the first half, as Bath dominated and Barclay gave them an early three-point lead. The home side continued to put pressure on the Sharks, and it paid off after 18 minutes when Matt Banahan made a break down the right. When the ball was recycled, scrum half Michael Klassen spotted a gap, evaded a tackle from his opposite number, Dwayne Peel, and scampered in from 20 metres, with Barclay adding the extras. Whatever was said at half-time had an effect on both teams, as Bath came out a shadow of the team they were, and the Sharks improved vastly in all areas, with McLeod getting points on the board with his third attempt. That brought the deficit to seven points, but they weren't finished. Soon after, Tony Buckley stormed down the middle of the park, and when the ball was moved left, Mark Cueto found himself on the outside of Matt Banahan to go over in the corner. McLeod converted from the touchline to make it ten apiece. Penalties dominated for the rest of the game. Barclay pushing the hosts ahead once again. McLeod levelling three minutes later after an infringement by replacement hooker Charlie Beach. Bath scrum rock solid all game suddenly fell apart and McLeod put his side ahead for the first time with just eight minutes remaining. Bath had a penalty and the chance to draw the game but decided to go for the line and the win. It's a decision they'll rue, as in the dying moments, Klassen's knocked the ball forward underneath the sail posts, and the visitors came away with what looked like, at half-time, an unlikely win.